Hey ladies, so I wanted to briefly talk about some of the dangers that can be associated with dealing with black men who view themselves as high value. A, a person who goes around saying, I'm high value, I'm high value, I'm high value. What they're inherently telling you is that they believe that you're beneath them. If you're dealing with a man who views himself as being better than you, he will remind you of that every second, of every minute, of every hour, of every day. He will not let you forget that in his mind, he's high value, you're beneath him. And see, this is why... If you deal exclusively with black men, you you almost can't be a woman that doesn't make at least what they make. Do you know what I'm saying? Because on the one hand, if you're a black woman and you earn more than a man, he's going to resent you. If you're a black woman and you earn less than a black man, he's going to lord it over you. Especially now because you're seeing so many conversations that basically are saying that black men who make at least $100,000 a year are on a pedestal and therefore all they have to do is show up to be in a relationship or a marriage and they don't have to do anything from there. And that shows you that this is a collective of men who are not accustomed to seeing healthy long-term marriages if you've seen a healthy long-term marriage you know that before anything else you you're dealing with two people who have to be able to come together and talk they have to be able to compromise they have to be able to not only communicate their feelings but also be attentive to their spouse's feelings But if you're dealing with a man who feels like he's better than you, he has more value than you, then you're dealing with a man who's not going to be attentive to your feelings. You're dealing with a man who's going to be very uncompromising. And you're dealing with a man who may initially tell you that he loves you and he wants to take care of you, so on and so forth. But once he gets into the relationship, he will resent playing the provider role okay that is inherently a part of his manhood and he'll pull a bait and switch and tell you oh no I think we need to do 50 50 ladies if if you need to be in a situation with someone where you're doing 50 50 you may as well just be single until you find a man okay who is willing to step into his provider role. Another thing you need to be careful about is that a lot of these men, particularly as they get older, a lot of these men are not going to give you any type of full disclosure in regards to their finances. So in a lot of these conversations talking about the high value black male You have a lot of these black men saying that they want full access to a woman's income. Whether that means they want everything in a joint account or, you know, what they mean. But they want full access to your income. Let me tell you something. A lot of black men over the age of 40 will never tell you how much money they have. Think back to that movie, Waiting to Exhale, and Angela Bassett's character, and how when she was going through her divorce, she found out about all these hidden accounts that her husband had. A lot of black men do that. If they marry you, or if you get into a long-term cohabitating situation with them, you will never know how much money they have. So one thing that you always need to do is have what they call FU money. Money stashed somewhere so that if you need to, 
you can get up and leave and be financially okay. I'm telling you, there there are black women in marriages who find out about two, three, four, five other bank accounts that their husbands never tell them about. They find out about property purchases that their husbands never tell them about. Talk to some of these women who are mistresses to black men. They, they'll tell you straight up. Why? Because a lot of times it's other black women telling them how to hide the money from you. But that's a whole different conversation. But it's the girl with the Facebook group that was talking about that. And she was warning black women who were married. She was like, a lot of these men are hiding money from y'all. Massive amounts of money. While wanting full access to your money. While wanting full control over your money. Why? Because they have their own stash of money. And they're in control of your money. Then they can put you in a situation where from a financial standpoint, you can't leave the relationship or the marriage. Listen, it takes money to leave someone, especially if you're married. Moving costs money. Furniture costs money. If you're going to buy a place, it costs money. If you're renting a place, it costs money. If you have to leave and completely start over, look at everything that you have in your house and think about moving into a new place and having to buy all of that stuff and start over again. And these men know that. So they'll try to have you so locked down financially that you can't move. So I'm telling you, because a lot of y'all insist on only dealing with one group of men. If you're going to deal with them, never give them full financial access ever. If you can, make sure they don't know exactly what you make. I know it sounds messed up, but you're dealing with a very messed up and trash collective of men. Okay? Never tell them how much you make. Lie about your income and always have a side bank account. Always. No matter how much you think you can trust a man. Always have your FU money. Okay? If you are a single black woman living on your own and you marry one of them, keep your own furniture for at least the first few years of marriage, even if you have to keep it in storage. I'm telling you. You'll thank me for that if you ever have to grab your clothes and get the hell up out of that house. Because that's another thing that is being promoted in some of these conversations where you have a lot of black men who view themselves as high value saying, well, if, if I get with a woman, I want access to all of her money and I want her to come live with me and, and not have any of her own things. A lot of times as black women, y'all are listening to that. Those of you who listen to that, those of us over here are not tuned into those conversations that much. But those of you who are really listening to those things and you're taking it in, think about why someone would look at you and say, well... If you want to be with him, he's got to have access to all of your money. He's got to make all the financial decisions. And you got to give up basically all of your worldly possessions to come live with him. Think about the level of control someone has over you if they put you in that situation. And look at the differences between... Black men who earn a certain income and other races of men who earn a, a certain income. Look at the differences in how they speak about and treat women. Okay? Let me know what you think in the comment section. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. 
We will talk very, very soon. All right. Bye.